Welcome to Swymar News, it's Friday the 4th of December. We have been incredibly busy preparing for our, our two Christmas productions which take place next week. Foundation and Key Stage 1 are performing the Christmas Star, whilst Key Stage 2 will perform Angels of High. Tickets are still available from the school office, don't miss out. Meanwhile, around the school, children have continued to participate in a range of interesting activities. For example, Mrs Newton's class have begun a special advent challenge. Each day, two children select a challenge at random, which they will have to complete by the end of the day. My advent challenge was to help my teacher in some way. I helped her by giving out binker. My advent challenge was to do some extra tidying in some way or other. I am still working on it. My advent challenge was to be generous in some way. My advent challenge is to say as many nice things as possible. Mr Cunningham's class had an exciting science lesson on Wednesday when they made their very own compass. And Miss Rutherford's class also had fun investigating magnetic attraction and repulsion. Mrs Palmer's morning group have been finding out facts about different heroes and heroines. William Shakespeare is one of the world's most famous playwrights. In Miss Stanley's class I have written lovely letters to Father Christmas. I've asked for a dog. I've asked for a scooter. I've asked for dragons. And Mrs Jackson's class have been retelling the Christmas nativity in their own words. A long time there was a girl called Mary who lived she loved children. When she grew, grew up, she met an angel called Gabriel, and she and he said, "You will have a baby, and you must call him Jesus." The Servitons class have been reading the Jolly Christmas Postman, and have written letters to some of the characters. They have also been practicing subtraction. Miss Rogers' class have painted beautiful pictures of characters from the Christmas Nativity. And finally, all around the school, children have been finishing their Christmas sewing projects. These wonderful creations will be displayed in the school hall for the rest of the term. Thank you for watching Swine News.